Hello guys and welcome back to my YouTube. Man, it has been a while. The last YouTube video I did on here was during lockdown. I did a what I eat in a day, which was probably about five months ago. Um, I basically stopped doing the YouTube filming just because my, my online coaching was picking up so much and I was really busy with that, but I'm back now. You're probably wondering where the hell are you? I'm actually currently in Antigua in the Caribbean, just standing on my balcony. Um, the sea is behind me down there. It's a beautiful, beautiful place, but I'm gonna vlog basically the whole of, um, well, part of this trip. I've been here for seven days already, eight days already. I just wanted to get tan before I came on camera so I can look better. Um, and then, um, so how, what are we now? We're the 30th of Jan, 30th of December. So I'm flying, I'm here t till the 3rd, then I'm flying to Barbados to go see my best mate who's in Barbados and I'm probably gonna stay there indefinitely. So I'm gonna show you guys around Barbados as well. But for now, I'm gonna take you through a kind of like, like a routine of mine when I've been out in Antigua. Um, so you guys can see what I get up to, where I'm staying, what's happening, etc. So yeah, I'm excited. Always better to vlog when you're in a hot country. It's so boring vlogging when you're at home and you're just eating salad. No one wants to see that, do they? Alrighty, so I'm on my way to breakfast. It's actually, I think it's about to piss it down with rain. So I'm gonna be quick with this. Yep, it's raining. So in the Caribbean, it basically pours it down for about 10 minutes and then it's sunny again. Um, happens all the time. I don't know if you can see, but it's really starting to rain now. I don't want my camera to get wet. Okay, I'm gonna have to stop this recording. Here's my mum. Say hello, mum. Hi there. This is this is uh, Mrs. Mrs. Middleton, <laughs> the mother. Uh, so we're actually just at breakfast now. My brother Will will say hello. hello. Being very sociable. Um, where Dad and Bella are coming. Bella's still in bed. My sister's still asleep. It's nine o'clock, and my dad's coming down. So I'm gonna have some breakfast now. Wait for my food to digest. And then hopefully it stops raining, I'll be able to get um, my boat. I'm taking a boat over to the gym. I'm gonna have a training session there. And then I'll show you guys around later on. Here we go, the whole family are here. <laughs> okay, so this is one of the coolest things about where I'm staying at the moment. In order to get to the gym, you've gotta take a boat, which takes you around the island into the harbour uh, towards the gym. So every day, every morning, I've been there jumping on this boat. It's pretty bougie, right, getting a boat to the gym. I always get asked when I go away on holiday, oh, James, you know, what, just chill out, man. Why are you training? Relax, go on, give your body a break. Hey, listen, I gave my body a bit of a break for a couple of days, but no matter where I am in the world, wherever I go, I will always locate a good gym to train at just because it just makes me feel good physically, mentally, it's like my therapy. So I'm always gonna be training wherever I am, whatever I'm doing. Um, and I think the beauty of it is, you know, it doesn't ever feel like a chore. It doesn't ever feel like, oh, I've got to go to the gym. I'm always like, look, I'm gonna do a little 45 minute session, feel good, and then get back out into the sunshine. Ready to have a big old session. All right, gym session done. Got it, it's different training when it's 27, 28 degrees and there's no air con. It's about to absolutely piss it down with rain again. So I'm gonna put the camera away, but I'm gonna head back, grab some lunch. If the sun comes out again, chill out on the beach. But time to go, because the rain is coming. All righty, so I've showered, I'm ready. I'm heading down to the beach. I'm gonna do a little bit of tanning and then grab some lunch. Um, but this is the pool behind me, right on the beach as well. All right, so I'm gonna get my tan on for a little bit, and then we're gonna grab some lunch afterwards. Look how gorgeous this place is. It's incredible. So peaceful, so beautiful, the sea is amazing. If you've never been to the Caribbean, get it on your list when you can travel again and get yourself to the Caribbean. This like little uh, beach bar. It's like a little shack on the beach that we come to every evening at about five o'clock, grab some drinks, watch the sunset, 
absolutely it's insane, so beautiful. Alrighty, so I've just arrived at Coco Bay Resort where I'm staying for a couple of days. Um, just by myself and it is the most incredible place in Antigua. I cannot wait to show you around. So I'm here for, uh, for two days uh, and then I'm flying over to Barbados. Best thing about Antigua, whenever you check into a hotel, they give you a free run punch. Let's go get a little sundown, shall we? There is nothing better than waking up to a view like this. on a sunbed for seven hours so there's not much content on here um, for you guys today um, but I just needed to relax recover unwind I'm terrible at doing that um, by myself so yeah I've done absolutely nothing apart from lie here all day but here are the views behind me it is my last day in Antigua in this beautiful little place where I'm at now. Um, it's the morning, so I am just packing all my stuff up. I'm flying to Barbados in a couple of hours to go and see my best mate and stay with him for about five or six days. I'm gonna try and convince him to stay longer because there's no reason for me to come back to London with lockdown and everything. Um, and I can continue working out here. You know, I've been working here every morning. Um, so that's, that's the plan. He doesn't know that yet, but I'm gonna try and convince him. 